KTM 390 Duke, 2017 on, review. Range of power parts tuning accessories. The 2017 KTM Duke 390 raced the A2 license bar. It's one of the most fun to ride, involving and high-quality machines in its class. It's refined, easy to live with, fast, comes with a high level of spec and superb attention to detail. There's a whole raft of official power parts accessories, too. If you plan for this to be your first big bike you're in for a treat, but even if you're an old hand it won't fail to impress. KTM completely transformed the 390 Duke for 2017, turning it from merely a good low capacity naked, to the best machine in the entire A2 license category. Giving the bike its first major updates since its inception in 2013, the 2017 version offers an unparalleled level of fun, quality and performance for its size. Then in 2021 the KTM 390 Duke was updated again, with new colors, a Euro 5 engine and an up and down quickshifter. You can see the new bike below. Ride quality and brakes. As well as a smoother power delivery and more grunt, the new KTM Duke 390 also has sharper handling and more precise steering thanks to a new chassis. The steel trellis frame, which now has a bolt-on subframe and a 690 look-alike lattice swing arm, has racier geometry and a slightly more canted forward riding position that shifts more weight on to the front end. As a result, there's extra feel for what the front end is doing in the corners, but the KTM is still roomy, comfortable, and with its straight bars, still has an aggressive, supermoto feel to it. Engine To keep up with Euro 4 regs, the 390 Duke's 4-valve 44 brake horsepower, 373.2 cubic centimeters single-cylinder motor now has ride-by-wire, a side-mount exhaust, replacing the old stubby underslung item and a bigger airbox. KTM says it makes 5.7% more torque at low RPM. You also get a slipper clutch added to the 390 in 2015. It might be small, but the engine is smooth, punchy, and there isn't much it can't do in the real world, especially with just 149 kilograms dry to push along. It has performance to keep you interested long after you've jumped through the hoops needed to get your full license. Reliability and build quality. In June 2017 KTM issued a recall of their 125 and 390 Duke motorcycles after it was found that there were some issues with the headlight. The recall will address the issue by carrying out a software update that addresses the issue. Only time will tell if the new 390 Duke will be more durable than the original, which suffered some reliability and quality issues. The new machine's build quality, paint finish and level of components is much improved, so the signs are good. Value versus Rivals With a vast improvement in build quality, more expensive feeling components and lots of snazzy standard equipment, the 390 Duke offers the best value for money in the A2 license class. A new one sets you back £4,699 when launched, and used examples are already coming onto the market at a little under £4,000. That as new price crept up to £5,149 by 2021, though. If you fancy an A2-friendly naked but the KTM isn't your cup of tea, you should consider the Honda CB300R, Kawasaki Z300, BMW G310R or Benelli BN302.